I think one of the things that works about the, the MCU is that each film has its own identity and its own, this is very different than, some, than anything else you guys have done. Uh, that's what we try, and you know, I believe that that's the way we should do it because that's how I feel about comics. Comics can all be very diverse, can all be very different. There was a character, there was another character that we introduced. Tom Holland. Hey, everyone. Yes! Yes, Spider-Man! <laughs> Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the director of Spider-Man Homecoming, John Watts. <laughs> hey, John Watts. We have, we have just Whoa. started filming. We've just started filming this movie in Atlanta, and it's amazing to bring this character portrayed by this guy into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It wouldn't be possible, and wouldn't have been possible without our producing partner on this movie, Amy Pascal, who's out there somewhere. But she is the reason that all of this happened, because she knew what was uh, putting everything else aside. Here's what's best for the character, and here's what's best for Spidey, who everybody loves Spider-Man. Yeah, of course. I mean, it was, it was, such, it was such huge news in our world when you guys were getting him back. And to find out that he was gonna be in Civil War and everyone was like, oh, how's this gonna, and then the second you came on screen, it was like, that's the guy, he's the guy. So how, how is this portrayal of Spider-Man different than what we've seen and how are you guys tackling it? Well, first of all, that's a, it's a pretty cool universe to be a part of, right? I mean, geez. Um, it's a high school movie. It's a straight up high school movie, it's about a 15-year-old kid, it's, I always describe it as this is the ground level of the Marvel Universe. You know, we know what it's like to be a billionaire playboy inventor, and we know what it's like to be an alien god from another dimension. We're going to learn what it's like to go to the astral plane, and we're also going to learn what it's like, you know, to have just finished going through puberty and be <laughs> in 10th grade Thank you. and uh, Thank you. be in Queens. <laughs> Did you bring some stuff today that you could show everyone? Uh, well, we're ju we just started shooting. We should actually be shooting right now, probably. Um, but we shot, some of the we shot some of the high school stuff. Um, so we can show that. All right. We should. Yeah, good. You want to you see, wanna see it? it? I want to see it. He see it. probably haven't seen it. I can't wait to see it. We, All right. They literally flew here today. They're flying out tonight. We've been shooting for 10 days. But here's what we've been shooting. No recording. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Oh, I want to see cool, it again. Huh? You haven't seen anything yet, have you? I haven't seen yeah, that I yet. Woo. Uh, we, got some, uh, we got some of uh, your other high school students here, uh, if you want to bring them out. Laura, Tony, Zendaya, Jacob, come on out. Well, hey guys. So this is this is kind hey. of like a this feels kind of like a John Hughesy kind of a spin. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just it's man. Wouldn't you really want to tell everyone that you were a Spider Man? Yeah. If you if you had to keep that secret in high school, man, it would drive you crazy. Yeah, we really tried to just capture sort of the spirit of those movies and, and bring it into this crazy universe. Yeah. Um, how is it for how has it been for you guys so far? Ten days into this, really? I mean, has it sunk in? What's going on? No. Right now it does. <laughs> Everything <laughs> like this moment yeah. feels really fake. Yeah. Like none of this is real. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's real. It's amazing. It's real. It's real, buddy. Love you guys. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Accept Woo! the love. Accept the love. Amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for being here. I know you guys. I yeah, mean, you're literally we have to get leaving back to work. Like, yeah, you're literally leaving right after trouble. this to go back and continue shooting, and then uh, hopefully we'll we'll see some more stuff as it rolls out. But it looks yeah. amazing, and again, thank you everyone so you guys, much. And Tom Holland, such an amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you Thanks, guys. Scott you. Derrickson. Thank you. Thank you. The cast of Spider-Man: Homecoming. Thank you, all very much. Thank you. Tom Holland. Thank you all. Thank you. All. Thank you.
Hall H is crazy. It's it's the amazing thing about Hall H is that we have I don't know I think it's six thousand people who all have such a huge amount of passion for our projects and are the reason why we do this. And to come here and to like tease them and show them a little bit is so fun. And and also to just meet the rest of the Marvel universe is like one of the most amazing things ever. And it's been crazy. It's been a crazy day so far. Even though I've been shooting it, it doesn't feel like a Spider-Man movie to me because we're with the cast and we're all hanging out and it feels like a sort of high school movie. But then to see it on that scale and to see Spider-Man and to see the Vulture and all of that is just so exciting. And I'm so happy to share it with the wonderful cast that we have. And, and I, I'm speechless. I really am speechless. <laughs> but everyone in the audience sort of was like, no, wait. And you can feel that atmosphere in a room like that. And, uh, and to be able to make people experience that and to be part of that um, process is, is, is pretty special and, and wonderful. This is my first Comic Con and it's the first time, obviously the first time I've experienced this like, level of, of superhero fandom. Um, and, and I'm a superhero fan myself so it's nice to be amongst these people that share the same passion and, and, uh, and it's, it's nice to be here to see so many people coming together to celebrate this art, which, which is what it is, really. And, um, and it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to see people enjoying themselves in this, in this place. This is awesome. This is one of the coolest things that I think I've ever done in my entire life. And I get to do it with really cool people. My cast is like, they're so nice, they're so real, um, and, and so funny in real life and on screen. So it's just like, to be able to share this with them is the bomb. And I'm just very lucky and very, very excited. in the best way. Yeah. The energy was just insane. Like the fans were just loving everything they were doing. Like Marvel did a really great job. I love the fans and I think they're amazing and I was so nervous walking in. As soon as I uh, I, I walked up, all that went away because the fans yeah. were just so amazing. Yeah, I was so nervous. I thought I was going to throw up everywhere. But then I mean, it was such positive energy. Everyone was so excited and it just made us feel really good and um, really proud of this movie that we're making. Oh. We haven't seen any of that. That was yeah, the first time we saw it too. I was screaming yeah. on the side. I was yelling. I couldn't help. Oh no! no. Oh. Hey guys. Oh no! Here we go. We're just missing oh, Zendaya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Zendaya. It's like every, it's like every other water. interview we do together. She's not here. Yeah. It's funny when you make a movie like this. It doesn't feel real because of the scale of it. And to right. see it put together just... and to be like see your friends on screen, it was such a rewarding experience. And also, like the reaction's been amazing. Yeah. Like, I know. On Twitter, it's just been yeah. insane. People I was experiencing it with everyone there. It was we were all in the back, me and all the kids from from Spidey, just looking at the screen from the side, just trying to see all this stuff too, because we haven't seen it either. So it was just it was amazing. We got to see tons of great stuff. I just had a stomach ache. <laughs> it's really nerve wracking to show something while you're right in the middle of making it, but everyone sort of freaked out. So I take that as a good sign. It feels very safe. You know, you walk out on that stage, it was the first time I've ever, you know, had this experience, obviously, and you just feel like this wave of love and support, and uh, it's really a great feeling. Did you know that The Bible and Planet of the Apes are the only G-rated movies to show nudity? Want more movie facts? Click on more videos, or for the latest trailers, click on the playlist.